In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install any IP of your choosing without using a dedicated sideloader app. Pretty much, with this way, you can sideload any app you want directly through Safari without even having to download an app that allows sideloading, making this the easiest way to sideload ever. So the first thing you guys are going to do is open up Safari. And in Safari, you're just going to simply go to this website link, WFS team here. And in Safari, you're just going to go to this website link here, WSF team here. And the first thing you guys are going to do is simply just go into downloads. And now all we really need is the config file. So click on config profiles. And from here, you guys can really just download any one of these, all of these work, but I would highly recommend using mad and S. So you're just going to click on that here, click on allow, and then it'll say profile has been downloaded. So just click on close. And once you guys have gone into settings, you're just going to have to click on profile downloaded and then it'll say install profile. And obviously this is the official link. So everything is good. And then just click on next, click on install, click on install. And now the profile has been installed. And now that it has been downloaded, just make sure that it is on Mad NS plus install only. This is very important as this config setting will allow us to install any app we want. And so now you guys are just going to go back into WSF team, click on back here. And now we just need to download these certificates. So just click on download certificates here, certificates, and then just download the zip file here. And now that it has been installed, now you just have to go into files. And then in the files app, all you guys have to do is just locate the file, which it should just be in your downloads folder. And once you guys do locate that, just simply tap on the file here to extract it. And it has now been extracted in this folder here called certificates two. The reason why it says two for me is because I've already extracted this file previously. And so if you guys just click on the certificates here, you'll see all of the certificates here. There's about 14 certificates. And this is very important as we will need these to sideload the app online. And now we can just head back over to the WSF team here. Click back click back and now we just have to click on portal signer and you'll see a bunch of stuff but don't worry we have everything that we need downloaded already so the first things first you guys are just going to click on the ipa here and then it should lead you into your downloads file if not then you guys can just locate it there and just locate the ipa file that you guys wish to download and in this case, I will be sideloading old OS. And if you guys want to know how to get iOS 4 on your device, then do make sure to watch the video in the top right as that shows you how to get the IPA. Anyways, now that you guys have selected the IPA here, you can see here that old OS has in fact been selected. And now we need to look for the mobile provision file. So again, you're just going to click on mobile provision. Make sure you guys don't click here. Otherwise, it won't work on file selected. You have to click on the text here and you're just going to go back and locate your certificates folder from here. And again, you'll see a bunch of certificates here, which some of them might be revoked. So you will need to try and see which one isn't. For now, I know that the education certificate and Vietnam bank works, which is at the bottom here. So for this video, I will select education, but do remember that these may not work for you depending on when you guys see this video. Anyways, I'm just going to click on the education folder. And now you guys can see that the only file you can even select is the mobile provision file. So select that and then you should see it over here. And then again, go to P12, tap on the text and it should automatically bring you into that folder. If not, just relocate it again. And so just click that here. And now all that's left is the actual password portion of it here. And so the password is WSF, all in caps. And now you guys can just click sign from here. And it does take some time, so just be patient. And once it has signed, it'll say open this page in iTunes, click open, and then click install. And now, as you guys can see, my old OS is installing. It will take some time, but yeah, you guys can just wait for it to in fact download. 
And as you guys can see, my old OS app has finally been downloaded. But before I do open that, I just want to show something here. So if you guys click on advanced options here, if you guys want to do some extra modifications to the app, you guys can. So if you keep scrolling here, you can even change the app name, app version, minimum iOS version. You can add tweaks. You can even change app icon, uh, remove supported devices and do all of that here. And so when you guys do make these changes, for example, just click on a here and then obviously you're just going to have to re-sign the app doing the steps that I did before. And now if you guys do just click on the old OS file here, it'll give you an untrusted enterprise developer. And so what we have to do is essentially just go back into settings and then just click on the profile here and then just click on trust. However, you will need to restart your device. So I'll be back when I do that. And once your device does restart, all you guys have to do is just open the app. And as you guys can see, the app works perfectly fine. Everything works. You guys can swipe to unlock and all of that does in fact work. Also, one last thing that I forgot to mention is that when you guys do end up sideloading the app, make sure that you guys do change the config profile after. So what you guys are going to do is just swipe down, hit on the airplane mode setting here and then switch and then now you guys can just turn airplane mode back on and make sure that it is on mad and s config profile plus a b and so that's the only way to switch it and this is crucial to making sure that the app does not revoke and you guys can do this either before trusting the certificate or after if the app does end up crashing for you guys then i would recommend first changing the config profile and then trusting the certificate the next time you do it and it should in fact work anyways i hope this video helped if it did please leave a like and subscribe leave a comment down below for more video suggestions and thanks for watching